Well, there's been a big storm, and it seems like a month now that it's been storming. But today was spectacular for that. And the mountains are just so wet. It's incredible. I forgot what wet was, so we'll see what happens. Everything's so green. The black mustard is coming up, and it's, it's really tasty. It's kind of hairy, but it's absolutely delightful when it's really, really young. And the fillery is coming up, too. That's edible when it's really, really young. Well, I thought I would show you. Here's some black mustard, very, very young. Looks tasty, doesn't it? And nearby, here, here is some fillery. That's also edible at this stage. When it gets older, you have to cook it and chop it. So here you go again. Nearly 100% edible stuff. Yum. Oh my gosh. There's an impediment. I can't get across. I'm going to have to go back and take a detour. Look at this. What do you think here? Look. Oh, the muddy water goes down this way. Here's a trail. Totally impossible. Hey, isn't it? Look at that. This is manzanita. Relatively rare in these parts. Plenty of it up north, though. It's looking good with the rain. It had been very stressed. It's amazing. There's a mist in the air that's rising up off of the chaparral and the sun is out briefly. No doubt I'll show you. There's the sun. I hope that took it in. And here's the chaparral. It had the strangest look to it like mist on top. This is California peony. Still in a very young stage. There's another stand just to the left here. It, it dies every year during the summer and, and now it's come back. Wow! Has it ever come back? Looks good, huh? It's beautiful. The creek flows down in the gorge here, kind of gorge. And you can see it's really full of water. And the best shot is down here. And look! It's decided to rain again, I think. Lord knows what's going to happen next. Well, I made it almost down to the fairy dell, and then, wouldn't you know it, it started to rain. So I paused at the entrance there where small oak trees provided some protection against the elements, and I weatherproofed my pack and myself. Anyway, what I've noticed in the last two years, and I'm sure you noticed too, is that there are no more nature spirits to be seen down in the fairy dell. And so I guess that proves the old notion that nature spirits are very leery of human beings and the sounds that they have. They like it very, very quiet, secluded, and like that, I think. And so I, I need to cross this one off my list and go on to some place where it's really, really quiet. Sorry, it's not today. But one day soon, we'll see those nature spirits again. Here I am, way up here in the highlands. People are so different from nature spirits, aren't they? It's amazing, really. I recall some of the best nature spirit experiences I've had are in places very far away from humankind. They seem to rollick around then. It's, it's, it's really a gas. It's a lot of fun. Hope you spot one or two this year.